I'm Tim, and this is our tiny house. And we're in Namaste Hideaway in Van Alstine, Texas. We lived in a small condo that I owned in kind of the heart of the city in Dallas, and the housing market started to go crazy, and I realized I could get a lot for what I bought from the condo. And so we were trying to think of an economical way to move because we couldn't afford a house. It was like, what's the practical way to get out of here? Because I didn't, we, neither of us liked living there because it's in the city. It's bottom floor of a condo, so you can't really open the blinds because you just see a parking lot. It just felt like you're living in a cave. We don't like our personal space that much. I like having an open space where it's all pretty much just one room. I think our communication's gotten a lot better because of it. There's less, what'd you say? Less, <laughs> less yeah, exactly, less yelling. Like, why well, can't hear you? <laughs> Hold the thought. We've been living in our tiny house for about a year. It's about a medium-sized tiny house. It's 28 feet long, eight and a half feet wide, and 13 and a half feet tall. We're parked at Namaste Hideaway on a country road surrounded by trees and it's beautiful. We pay $550 a month. That includes water and sewer and our lot. Electric is billed per meter and internet is separate. Starting from the outside, this is our tiny house. The first thing I'd harp on is the deck. We're in love with this deck. It's super simple. It's something that anyone can do. It's built modular so that you can adjust it to any uneven ground with these two one and a half ton jacks and they're just fastened to a four by four. The ground's bound to be uneven anywhere you put your tiny house and I wanted to be able to take it apart very simply. It's, it's a matter of just taking all the screws out and if we ever have to move the tiny house we'll just stack it all up together put in the back of the truck. So in my opinion watching tons of videos and just getting into the tiny house lifestyle, the deck is entirely mandatory. <laughs> One of our favorite features of the deck is actually the catio. We have two cats, so now they have their own space to enjoy out here with us. So we just ordered the kit on Amazon and we put it together. It took us less than a day. It's a place to store the litter box because we don't really want that in a small space inside but it's a nice place for them to hang out. They love being outdoors, so this gives them a safe place to be outside. At the condo we were living at, we didn't really have an outdoor space. It was safe for a cat to be. Because we live tiny and we're in this spot, we can provide a safe outdoor space for our cats. Now that you've seen the outside, let's take a look at the inside. So our tiny house is about 340 square feet. It's a totally custom floor plan. Uh, yeah, we absolutely love the space in here. Yeah, we wanted a really open space. I like to do home workouts. So there's enough room to put a yoga mat here. We also are gamers. So we have our game setups in here. I love how open and bright it is. Starting behind us, we have our kitchen. So it was really important to us to have a full-size kitchen because I love to bake and we both really enjoy cooking. So that was the most important. And we have so much counter space. I even have a spot to work from home occasionally. It's a nice stand-up desk and it's a beautiful view of the trees. And we have all these amazing windows that create a lot of natural light. One reason I got the butcher block countertops is to be able to bake my own bread in here, so that's definitely something I need to learn. But I do a lot of other muffins and loaves and all sorts of things. We have an electric stove. It works really great. I'm used to a digital stove, so it's interesting for like the oven. It's not exact on the temperature sometimes, so it was a little getting used to. You have to really understand that to know like what temperature it's actually set at, so that's different. And above the oven and stovetop, we have a vent hood. It helps clear out the air when you're cooking. We have an apartment-sized fridge in here, which is plenty of room for us. And next to our fridge is our pull-out pantry. 
which most of it's cat food, but we have plenty of room for all our dry food. It works great. It's even soft clothes. It's wonderful. And what's that? <laughs> That's a cat toy. Because <laughs> he likes to play with it. There we go. Good boy. So moving out of the kitchen space into the living room space a little bit, we have our giant stairwell here. We really wanted to save a lot of space so much so that we made the steps higher and steeper so that we can make them a lot shorter to save extra space over here. We can use this space for many different things. One of the things that we had to have was our spring water. <laughs> it just creates an open feeling spacious effect by shortening the stairwells. Obviously key to tiny house living is how you adapt to storage and how everything fits in together. So we have everything soft clothes as well. Um, we have our little cat toy box area and they like to hide in there. So they'll come bring them out and we can just chuck them back in there. So there's definitely a space for everything. There's clothes in here still in the living room space adjacent to the stairs we have our battle buddy we call him he's a stormtrooper he wears my hats and keeps them shaped nicely <laughs> so that's really cool and good energy having a soldier by the door it reminds me of my days in the military i fancy myself a bit of a stormtrooper it was a fun present to allison on her birthday i thought it was a little big and outrageous and i wanted to make an impression so and she loves Star Wars, <laughs> so it's a must have. Using the internet without Surfshark is like getting dressed outside. Everyone can see your twigs and berries. Protect your privates and your internet activity with Surfshark. It's a VPN provider that conceals everything you do online. Ooh, mysterious. You can surf the web in a hundred countries to access block streaming services and more. I love the peace of mind that comes with protecting my personal data on public Wi-Fi. Ooh, and here's a hot tip to make the most of your holiday online shopping. Don't let websites just show you prices based on your location or device. Use Surfshark VPN to get the very best deals. Surf the web on a whole nother level with Surfshark Search. Say hello to truly organic search results and goodbye to creepy personal ads. Choose the Surfshark One package to get that and much more. Get an exclusive Surfshark holiday season deal. Enter promo code TINYHOUSE to get up to six additional months for free at surfshark.deal slash tinyhouse. So still in the giant living room, we have our media area. Very simple, we, we got some nice wood from Home Depot cut it in half, put some brackets on it, and it just makes the cutest little shelf for our crystals and knickknacks and controllers. And one of the our favorite features is the swivel TV. So that just comes out. We can turn that and face that towards the kitchen. So that works very nicely, or we can pull it further back, of course, if we're sitting on the couch and we wanna be immersed in a movie or something. So across from that, we have our Basically where we spend a lot of our time, our downtime is playing games together. Uh, we wanted to make sure that we could fit pretty much a full gaming situation in a tiny house, which is always a challenge, but we got these nifty little uh, rolling tables that always roll out of the way, super easy. Yeah, it's, a, it's important for us to spend that time. We get to sit together after work. And we can sit together right next to each other and everything's just right there. The cats run around us while we're playing games and we're watching TV or whatever. We couldn't be happier with the way it turned out. It just feels good. It's never boring in here because we have catwalks all around the tiny. They can do a 360 run around, <laughs> a total run around the entire wall of the house. It's a perfect space for them really focuses on environment design for us and for our fur babies. And moving further back is our bathroom. Of course, we have to have this sliding door, that's awesome. And it's immediately feels like an 
giant open space in here. We love it. It checks all the boxes for us. We have a washer and dryer unit in here. It does even heavy loads. We turn it on high spin. We don't even notice it in here. We can't even hear it when it's going. Got our little shelving. We've got this cute little area over here for Allison's uh, earrings and necklaces. Again, we can literally screw anything into the walls. So however we want to decorate and wherever you want to place anything, it's just right on anywhere you want to make it feng shui. One of my favorite things, it's kind of strange, but uh, this triangular laundry basket that fits right in the corner over here. <laughs> That's a genius piece that we came up with. We have a dehumidifier down here in the corner just to deal with the high humidity moments. It's actually typically not a problem. We have a humidity gauge. We watch out for that. But for the most part, it cools off and dries out instantly. We knew living here was going to be a transition to off-grid and we would definitely love to do that. Uh, but for now, we went with the flushing toilet. It makes it just a lot easier and we don't have to worry about it. We're at a great park. They take care of the, the septic. So in an effort to make the space feel big, we went with a wide feeling sink. It was actually the builder who chose this, but he understood what we wanted. So it came out brilliant. It feels like you can just go in there and just splash your face and not have a problem. So we got some bamboo floating shelves. It's this very simple solution. We can add more if we need to. Turning around, we have the shower and bathtub. We love the bathtub. It's definitely a full size bathtub space. One of the most important things to me was taking salt baths. It's super big for your health. You're basically grounding in minerals. It's all the sodium your body needs. But this tub is great. I mean, it's a full size tub. You can relax in it. It's, it's got a nice slope to it for your head. If I could actually bring you over to the laundry area, this is key over here. We extended the butcher block above the, the laundry. So you, you have tons of space for just folding clothes, maybe even just leaving them there for a few days. <laughs> you can hang things up here. And then also, if you look over here, we have our little attachment for our wire to hang and dry clothes in this space. And then we just turn the fan on and everything just aerates beautifully. So, and also we have a window. So this is a really nice window that we can raise up. It breathes really well in here. It's really nice if you're right here doing your laundry, it feels like an open and comfortable space to do chores, which is usually the worst if it's not. So on the way out of the bathroom, Y'all may have missed a giant storage area. These are full shelves in here. We've got three layers of shelves. We put all the bulky things underneath. There's a giant shelf for bathroom knickknacks, but for the most part, utility and functionality. Again, it's space, like there's space if, when we need it. Well, I grew up in North Dallas. I grew up with uh, entrepreneurs. All my family are all entrepreneurs. One day I would love to hold my own company. I love baking, so that's one reason why I wanted a full-size kitchen in the tiny house, so I have room to bake and spread out. I am a foreigner, <laughs> if you can believe it. I'm from South Africa. I came here in second grade, practiced speaking Americans to fit in, and then the culture grew on me, so you'll never know it. <laughs> I joined the military to mostly to get naturalized and I uh, did my six years and then I just started my pool business after that, you know, needed something, didn't want to work for anybody anymore. <laughs> I love the entrepreneurial route. I mean, just freedom, running your own show, doing it better than everybody else, like, it's exciting for me. It was hard for me at first to go tiny just because I held on to a lot of my childhood stuff and I, it's hard for me to downsize in that way. So the idea was great to move tiny, but then it was just practicality of it. It was like, oh mm. gosh, then I have to get rid of my things and I have to change my lifestyle and then I have to, you know, all that came into play. But it was pretty good. We actually have a storage unit that we have some things in, so we're gradually downsizing from that. At least we ha aren't in a rush to do that. We can kind of take our time. Really, we have everything we need in here. There isn't anything I feel like we're lacking. We haven't gone to the storage in a long time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. 
I had to learn a lot about tiny houses and, and how they're put together. Is it going to be easy for me to repair? You know, is it beyond my ability to manage it myself? That kind of thing. So I've had fun doing this this whole time. I love taking the challenge of doing things outside the box. Above our bathroom is our storage loft. Let's get, take a look. We use this mostly as a closet. We have my dressers here. This is also where our mini split is. We have a fan here because the, the air doesn't pull over this half wall, so it doesn't get over to the other loft very well, so this fan really helps move air over to the rest of the house. We also have a bunch of our emergency food in here. You know, you never know what's gonna happen, so we keep storage food in here. Luggage, it's also the cat's room. They have toys and scratching posts up here as well. And then we also have some storage in the wall. We have more crystals and we have our board games too. Our other loft is our bedroom loft. Let's go take a look. And this is our bedroom loft. It's actually very spacious up here. Um, enough room to sit up straight. Uh, we also have a huge skylight up here that opens, so it makes it feel even bigger and we can watch the stars or watch the trees at night. It's amazing. Yeah, one of our requests up here was the skylight. That was definitely a mandatory addition because it just makes the space feel so much lighter and more spacious because some lofts I feel like they feel a little claustrophobic especially if they don't have skylights or if they have you know the ceiling feels a little lower it's just we didn't want that up here we wanted to feel very open and big for such a small space. And on this side it since it's all trees over here it feels like you're waking up in a tree house because it's just trees on both sides in there and it's really cozy and the cats love the big windows every morning they're just peering out there and watching the birds. We also have two end tables up here as well. They have a lot of storage in them. Nice butcher block tops to them and then a nice cabinet with soft clothes. Plenty of room to charge your devices and keep a book up here. Journeyman Years? Journeyman Years Tiny House Company is our builder and they started in 2020. And so they were a new company. We had ours built in 21. So it was almost a brand new company when we chose them. And the reason we chose them is because they're semi-local, but they're also more affordable than most of the larger companies in Dallas. But, you know, we had a small budget, so we kind of chose a newer company that we could afford. Our experience with the company, they were good overall. The woodwork is great. They built it exactly how we wanted it. I would say the only issues were quality control. Dings from delivery, sure, yeah, but shower heads coming loose, that's not a delivery jiggle issue. Mismatching plumbing under the sink. The sinks were dripping, and we had them come out about four times, and I ended up fixing it. It's just kind of a mixed bag, I would say. Uh, with the plumbing four times, with the stairs, like three times. We had some mold in the stairwell from the, because they didn't insulate the wheel well. So in the winter last year, if we had that freeze. And so the, the metal sweat and they just put wood directly on the metal. And so of course it molded. So they take all of our stairs out. They had to take our cubbies out and replace all the moldy wood and put in some insulation, which they did. So it seems kind of basic, like, <laughs> yeah. The insulating the, the trailer should have been, make sure that happens, I would say. So it just, it just molded on the wheel wells, thank goodness. And I mean, the floor is super insulated. We have closed cell foam, so <laughs> it didn't seem to touch anything else. So we had that going for us. It, they're, again, they're a budget builder where they're good. They're, they're good. They were good to us. It's exactly what we expected as far as price point. I think in total, we spent about $86,000 for the house. Um, it's a 28 foot wide by eight and a half, so it's, Decent size, so if that's in the market right now, that's a really reasonable price. We're super happy with the build. A lot of customability with it. Yeah, you don't get in the normal house. 
the flexibility and mm -hmm. the flexibility. quality of life yeah I mean, that that also has to go with like where you have it parked too because i just feel like it's so peaceful yeah. here and it's just moving from the city like that's a huge difference of just like the quietness and it's just peaceful mm, it's fun too it's fun <laughs> to live in a small house it's really it's just it feels like you're going on vacation every time you come home to your house watching our video and for stopping by tiny house expedition i'm alexis and i'm christian don't forget to like comment and subscribe and for more tiny home tours and stories click the videos below and join us on instagram for bonus content including face-to-face -face conversations with us <laughs> we hope to see you there all right thanks guys have a good one